Hey, what's up everyone? Today in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can dynamically create Excel headers just from text using Power Automate Desktop. Let's go. Okay, so once we're in Power Automate Desktop, let's go into the Excel category and launch Excel. This time we're going to launch a blank document and we're going to leave the make instance visible so we can see the headers being created and click on save. Next, we are going to set our text into a variable. So let's look for variable and drag the set variable into the designer. And for the value, this is where we are going to enter our headers. So let's do header one header two, three, four, and five. And we're also going to rename the variable just for a good measure. Now, let's click on save. And once we have our text, we're going to need to split it. So header one, header two, and so on, they will be individual values. So let's look for a split and drag the split text. For the text to split, we're going to look at our variable. Click on select. And we're going to expand the menu because the delimiter type, we have standard. So let's see what is actually standard first. So we have space, we have tab and new line. This is not really what we want to do. And then we have number of characters, not what we want to do either because we want to split the text at the comma. So we're going to choose custom and we're going to set the custom delimiter to comma. So it might not be very clear on the screen, but this is a comma and you don't need to enter the comma between single quotes or double quotes. You just put the comma just like that. And then we have, is it a regular expression? No, it's not. And we're going to click on save. Now let's run the flow just to see about the values that we're going to have. So Excel open, let me just drag this up there. So obviously we have nothing at this point, but what's interesting for us is what we have in the variables. So if I look into the var text header, this is what we entered in the variable in here. And if we look at the text list, this is what we have. So each item is now individual. And now we're going to choose a for each loop. Let's drag this onto the designer and the value to iterate. This is going to be our text list. And this is going to be stored into the current item. So I can rename that variable if I want to, but I can just leave it like that. It makes sense. All right. Now let's think about what we want to do for each of the items. And basically we want to write to the Excel worksheet. So let's look for write and choose the write to Excel worksheet, drag it onto the loop. And the Excel instance is the one we've opened at the beginning. The value to write will be our current item. And now if we expand the menu, we have on a specified cell or on currently active cell. So if we choose on a specified cell, then we're going to need to enter some values in here and it's going to make it difficult because those would be basically hard coded values. So let's take the other one on currently active cell. And now we need to think about how are we going to move from one cell to the other. So from column A to column B to column C. Well, there is an action which is actually sending keys. So let's drag that into the designer. And where do we want to send the key to? So we're going to choose a window instance handle because we're going to have our Excel instance. And then we need to choose what are we going to send? So we want to send a keystroke. So to move from one cell to the other, we're going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard. 
So if you look into insert special keys, we have arrow keys and we want to move from left to right. So we're going to choose right and see how it actually inserted the text to send. It's going to be right, but I'm going to scroll down and we can leave the delay between the keystroke to 10 milliseconds. It's absolutely fine, but this is very important. Send text as hardware keys. So the text is this, it's moving to the right and we're going to toggle that on because we want this to act as if we were actually pressing the right arrow on the keyboard and then we're going to click on save and now it looks good. So we're going to run the flow. And voila, now we have our headers created dynamically just from inserting some text.